Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Discussing Comics. I'm Clarence. I'm Kyle. And today we're going to be talking about the comic book character Cable. So man, we've seen a lot of news lately about the upcoming Deadpool movie, Deadpool 2, as well as the casting for Cable in the movie. Correct. So what do you think about Josh Brolin coming in uh, as another Marvel character to, <laughs> to play Cable? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I've seen the picture and... Which well, looked pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm sure, you know, you can throw the picture up for everybody to see it, but it looks pretty cool, but I'm curious to see which version of Cable they mm -hmm. might be portraying. Okay, that's interesting. Now, I, of course, I don't think he would have been my first choice. Okay. And I don't even think he was... Um, Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. That wasn't even his first choice. Because I think I heard some rumors or whatever. He was mad when he first <laughs> found out uh, right. who got cast as uh, Cable. So that leads m my question to you because I said, depending on what version, tell me, what do you know about Cable? Uh, I remember Cable from the 90s X-Men cartoon briefly. Okay. And so, that's it. <laughs> so, so what do you briefly remember from the cartoon? Uh, Gray-haired guy, kind of very, very militant um, from the future. Um, and I'm going out of my head and yeah. not looking at my notes. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> see, and yeah, see here. Okay, so here's my thing with Cable. Uh, he was created back in the late '80s, uh, right toward the original end of the New Mutants run. Uh, that particular book ran from one, obviously, all the way through issue 100 when when it was quote unquote canceled for a relaunch of what was called X-Force. Okay. Well, in X-Men, I mean, excuse me, um, in New Mutants number 87, they introduced a new mentor to the team out of someone who became Cable, who was basically the anti, you know, the polar opposite of Charles Xavier. Militant guy, uh, all about you know, military style, I mean, he was in the, you know, this is right as we went into the 90s with guns, 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 guns. <laughs> and so that was, uh, that was how Cable was originally introduced and looked a lot like how that picture of Josh Brolin looks. The old man, the rugged, uh, uh, you know, old soldier kind of thing. Yeah. And of course, in the 90s cartoon, he's much more colorful than our uh, heroes right. are today. So... Um, you know, what are your expectations of the character from the movie? Uh, man, I know there was a run, uh, Deadpool and Cable. Right. I don't know much about that run, but from the notes I've been reading and kind of remembering what I've seen from the TV show, um, he w came to help the X-Men go against the Mutant Liberation Force? Or Correct. Is Correct. That right? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> right. These, these were all one... Okay, so this is before the image creators left Marvel okay. and DC, or mainly Marvel, to uh, form image. So uh, L Rob Liefeld, along with Louise Simonson, was who actually created the look for the original character Cable. And when he was originally introduced, he was much more of a badass type character. Mm -hmm. Very, in my opinion, one-dimensional and not very likable. That's why I said to you earlier before we started recording, depending on which version of Cable. So I'm not a fan of Liefeld. I've ne you know, I, I know there are fans out there of him and you know, that's just my preference, but I don't like Liefeld's artwork and I don't like his writing style. And part of that was how he, you know, that ties into the whole way Cable was originally now, now what right. you saw from the, the image we got of Josh Brolin, is that similar to the Liefeld version or a future version? Okay, so for, for any of you guys that don't know who Cable is and you don't want to be spoiled, put us on pause and go read you know, Wikipedia or something and find out who Cable is or you know, go watch the movie in a couple of years. But if you do know who Cable <laughs> is, uh, it was revealed a couple of years after Cable was first introduced that he was actually the son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor. 
So at that point, because he is now an established X-Men character, yes, he's still the old soldier, but he was portrayed by different artists looking a little younger and looking not quite so, you know, uh, Rob Liefeldish and uh, more, more like your typical comic book hero. But that revelation came much later. Yeah, that came in probably about 92. So he had been around about two or three years. And then by that time, Image had come about. So Liefeld was gone. Mm -hmm. And um, so you had, you know, Cable kind of retconned almost into, well, we never found out what happened to uh, Nathan Summers as a baby. Oh, well, guess what? He's really Cable. <laughs> I don't know if that was originally planned. It may have been, but it, yeah. to me, it, when I was reading it back in the 80s and 90s, it felt like it, it was kind of like, oh, well, let's just do the, this. These piece, pieces kind of fit together. Yeah. I mean, well, knowing that and knowing that we probably won't see much of the other X-Men in this, no, this Deadpool I movie, think so. I tend to think they, they're going to leave most of that story out. I think so, too. You know, they may hint at it, but I don't think they're going to do Yeah, I, 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 Which you might get some hints, some yeah. inside hints. Which makes me think we're probably going to get the life ill. Version. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would think so. Because that's how I, you know, that's that's the look it seemed like they were going for. <laughs> so what is his powers? Uh, that you know. <laughs> what, what do you think his powers are? Uh, well, knowing who's, who his parents are, I think it has to be some sort of telekinesis. Very which good. we didn't ever told who Madeline Pryor is. Yes, uh, and we need to do actually a video on who is Madeline Pryor. Okay. Okay, cool. uh, which would be kind of cool. Because, uh, you know, if I could talk about Jean Grey and her many faces all day, I absolutely could. But uh, she is the, or he is the daughter of Madeline Pryor and Scott Summers, which Madeline is, again, spoilers, a clone of Jean Grey. So, hence the telekinesis. Is he very powerful? What do you think? You may not know yeah, this. Yeah, this I, I don't know. I totally don't know. But I would think not. He has a very. He is able to show a low level of telekinetic abilities. Now he's of course a telepath, but his te telekinetic abilities are very constrained, and the reason for that is because of his arm. He has a virus that was given to him in the future that he has to use his telekinesis to prevent from spreading all over his body. Yeah, so it's taking, so it's taking all of his powers to uh, withhold uh, that just on his arm. And I think you told me a story about how he got a new arm, or was it? Am he, I thinking about the right he thing? He did get his arm cut off at one point, and then they, you know, he got a new one. And Okay, went, yeah. okay. So this uh, Mutant Liber Liberation Front. Uh -huh. So who is, is it Stife Strife? Strife. Okay, so let's assume we are in the future. Let's assume we are Apocalypse. Okay. And, you know, everyone pretty much knows who Apocalypse is now. So let's assume we're Apocalypse. Apocalypse gets this baby that he he wants because this is the summers that he had met two thousand years ago, and this is he's got the child. Well, the child is infected with this virus. He, well. He does not want a body for which is infected, mm -hmm. so he clones the body. Okay. And the cloned body was Strife, which is a clone of Nathan. I see a recurring theme here. Yeah, clones. <laughs> His mother was a clone, he was a clone. <laughs> wow. So, so, And I actually never got that until you just said that. Really? No. Well, I, I just read it like five minutes ago. <laughs> and I absolutely, all these years, never connected that. Oh, man. So uh, any other takeaways uh, on... on um, Cable as we move into the movie coming soon, I guess. I hope, even though he may look a little bit like what he did in the original incarnation, I hope they keep the comedic aspects of uh, Cable versus Deadpool. Mm -hmm. And considering the fact it'll probably be R-rated, I would think they would. Because some of the stuff that, that they said between each other was freaking hilarious. See, that surprises me because you uh, mentioned that um, when he first came, I guess this is this the Lisbon era. He, he was a lot more militant, I guess. Yeah. So he softened up as he, he, he did. He was still the military guy, but but but, but and I and it maybe it might have been how I perceived him. Mm -hmm. But I just think there was a difference. Hmm. 
But yeah, I hope, uh, I hope, you know, regardless of what he looks like, I hope that they keep the comedy because, you know, there's too many one-liners that they had in the comic that they could take over to the movie that I, I know without a doubt would be hilarious to people, so. Any takeaway adventures from the, the Deadpool and, and Cable Run that you think we might see? Uh, no, because I don't think there really were, you know, any said per se adventure. It was more so playing on the, here you've got this complete idiot and here you've got this, you know, all business so, yeah. military guy and they're playing off of each other. Ah. That's That was more of the entertaining, uh, you know, uh, aspects of it. Cool. Well, I cool. Can't, can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it either. But what we also would like is for if you guys have any comments about Cable or Deadpool or anything we've talked about, please leave some comments in the uh, notes below, just right below us. And also subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. So, all right. Till next time.